Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome. Uh, this is Paul again. I'm back here. Um, this is about uh, almost 9 o'clock in the morning here on a Monday. And uh, I had a record throw yesterday. For any of you that are following this channel, um, I got a throw yesterday that put me into an elegant class of people, to be sure. Um, probably less than 500 people would be my guess in the world that can actually get a disc. And I don't give a shit what you want to tell me. We had a we had a long throw that wound up being a roller. It wasn't even all that long a throw. It wound up rolling. So this throw rolled to an astonishing approximately 432 feet. We'll call it 430 because I think I made a measuring error of around 5, 6, 7, 8 feet. But we'll call it 231. It measured out at, at 440. So we'll call it 431. To throw 430 feet, and you don't like the fact that it's a roller, that's too bad. You know why? Because I promise you, you have my word to the sky, that if you go to Paul Macbeth or any of those professionals or Eagle McMahon or Biff Thompson or whoever they are up there, you tell them, that they are not truly champions because they threw a roller that went 535 feet. You tell them that. And you tell them that you demand that they give back a partial credit uh, or make it known that they won on a roller. And they will tell you correctly to suck their dick or whatever, or as the case may be, without using pronouns. That's what happens when you get out and you start dedicating your life to something. In this case, it's throwing discs. Again, I didn't tell you it's disc golf because I typically don't play disc golf. I would if we had some really beautiful places around here. I'd be, I'd be happy. Like some of you people are so lucky out there that live ac across the world. Like even in the United States, uh, you got places in California and all these places they have beautiful courses it's a pleasure to be around this is what we have here somebody burning out here around the tree with their car uh, they did it over there in the ditch over there in that big giant ditch I don't know I, I'm not upset about it because it makes the it kills the, the kind of kills the grass which is good because this grass uh, gets up to my waist almost my waist before they cut it in the summer so um, what I'm trying to tell you is Whatever you get good at that you like, that you like to do, do it and you'll get better. <coughs> so I've joined an elite group of people in this world who um, maybe are not triathletes, you know, uh, triathlon athletes. Maybe they can't jog for 20 miles. Uh, maybe they can't lift weights, whatever it is. But I'm still a professional athlete because I've devoted enough time to this sport, if you wish to call it a sport, of throwing discs. And I've been doing good ones lately. And I've been doing them for a while. I've been doing it now for about four months. Around uh, around six months ago, I made my first throw. About seven months ago, in around June, I made my first throw. Um, sorry, folks. Um, let me close up this... Uh, tablet here uh, about uh, seven eight months ago I made my first throw oh please will you give me a fucking break here with this god damn it fucking give me a break shit um, about at seven eight months ago maybe in around late April it wasn't eight late April it was about May end of May early June um, I went to that field over there and I finally got a hold of of a katana. I believe it was a katana. I, I'm not sure. It was whatever it was. It was like a 172 or a 170. And I finally figured out that you have to come around with your body or you're not going to get distance. Now you can call it cheating. You can call it unorthodox. But I shouldn't be able to throw as long as I do, uh, as far as I do. But even though I have long arms, I don't have great body strength. So I have to cheat by bringing my body all the way around and throwing my body weight into the throw. 
and that has mixed consequences. So uh, for those of you who are just coming in, I provide free discs uh, to somebody who will need it uh, on my throws that I get up on the embankment or they are uh, greater than 400 feet. I have signed those discs, put the date, and they're available to anyone who wants it, one per person, <coughs> if I have it. And, um, you know, tune into this channel and, uh, you know, see what's cooking. And now we're going to throw these right here. They immediately careened off the car. Um, and I have one disc in here I have to retire. It's a flat, um, it's a flat orange disc and I'm trying to find it I think it's this one right here I think this was the disc right here that wound up going 430 feet albeit on a roller but like I told you anybody that wants to come over here and lock horns with me with throwing discs for distance come on let's let's do it because um, you can get lucky and you could get a disc that rolls all the way down that thing everything counts here Anything forward counts. And I know maybe you have one question. What was my worst throw? My worst throw was a shrike, I think. I threw it up in the air and it went three, 400 feet in the air and it wound up coming right back to me and it landed right there by those sticks. So I think it was around four or five feet in front of me. And I ain't kidding. I don't even know if it was six feet. Landed right in front of me. That, that disc went 350 feet in the air, would be my guess. 300 feet in the air is unbelievable. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to get started today. I only have time for one round of discs. Uh, one of these discs is going to be retired, and I'm trying to find the disc. And um, we had some interesting uh, times <coughs> um, yesterday because it wound up raining and making a lot of problems because I mean it really poured I got soaked to the bone and I'm glad I'm not any sicker than I am so let's uh let's go ahead and get to it we've got winds right now that are only about three four miles an hour in fact I'll check that and um, they are going uh, with us in the wind so let's take a look and see what the wind is and uh, we'll find out now what the wind conditions are. Wind conditions. The wind speed in Hollywood is now seven miles per hour. Okay, so it says seven miles an hour, much different than their 16 to 17 mile an hour winds that they were talking about yesterday. So maybe we'll be able to get something uh, going here today. No matter, let's give it a whirl and um, let's see if we can uh, get these things aired out today. I am going to have to throw with my jacket because it's a little bit chilly and I don't really want to, um, I don't really want to, um, you know, get chilled today. I got soaked to the bone yesterday and that was a cold rain here. Uh, as Florida standards go, it was a cold rain or South Florida to be precise. A lot of people don't know this, but it can get down to 25 degrees Fahrenheit uh, under freezing, which is 32 Fahrenheit at Disney World doesn't happen often but it gets cold there in the winter so don't think that uh, mid to northern Florida can't get down to freezing where water turns to ice at 32 Fahrenheit zero Celsius it can and it does we've had a mild winter this year we haven't even had one real bad night uh, the lowest temperature here has been about 50 or 51 something like that so um, we're having a very mild winter thus far and it probably We'll probably get off now because in another month it won't get cold. We're already in February, <clears throat> uh, first week of February. So here we go. Um, I believe this is the disc that went that distance. It is a 148, and I got to figure out if it's a Shrike or if it's a turn. It's one of the two, and I will. Uh, I need two pairs of glasses uh, to have the magnification I need to be able to figure it out, and I do have two here. So let me see what these are and uh, we'll find out because sometimes the stamp on these discs are so tiny that you can't even read it. So let me look to see if I can find what it is. And uh, this is no easy task. I don't see anything here and I've got double magnification here. I don't see anything in here. I, I might even need one more. I can't see it. 
I would my guess would be uh, a turn but I still can't see it with double magnification I still can't see this I still can't see it so this is the disc right here it gets retired I will sign it and we will have a nice disc for somebody who wishes to have a disc so I am going to do that right now <clears throat> I am going to sign this disc there and we're going to put down 431 foot roller Four hundred and thirty foot roller. Today's date is uh, I think it's the sixth. So it's February sixth. February sixth, twenty twenty four. All the best. There you have it. Anybody that wants this disc, you need only leave a comment, give me an email. And if you want, I will throw you this, I will send it, I'll throw you the disc. I'll throw it to you if you want, if you're close enough. But if um, I can mail it to you, and there's no charge, and um, God bless you. Take it and use it, and hopefully you can throw it uh, 631 feet. Who the hell knows? But um, that's that, okay? So now we're going to start less this disc. We're not going to use that disc, because that's going to be for a subscriber who wishes to have it. And we will go right back now to what we were doing and uh, we will get to it. And we will start out with this 149 uh, uh, Pro Katana and we will start, we will begin. I know this was a little talky folks. I'm sorry about that. I can only throw one wave here. As the discs come careening down off my car, here we go. We've got six, seven mile an hour winds. They're not bad today, not like yesterday. And they're going straight out. We'll double check this now. Let me see where they're going. Let's see. Okay, so they're pretty much going straight out as I told you. Here we go. We're going to start off with this 149 Katana. Let's see if we can't rock and roll here. Here we go. 149 Katana. Not bad. Way to start. It's out there obscured by the embankment, but it's probably still around a 310 foot throw, a fair throw, a big arc, which is not going to get you major distance, but it's okay, probably a plus 300 foot throw. We got a 150 Pro Boss. Here we go. That's a pretty good throw. Ooh, that's going very well. You probably can't see it coming back to the left and it is out there folks and it's looking at like about nine or ten feet from the embankment that is now taking first place obviously here we go 149 pro turn pumpkin here we go let's see what we can't get done here 149 pro turn pumpkin here we go oh that's another un whoa that's going. That's deep. Uh, it's almost on the embankment. It rolled and skittled, but it's just a little short. It looks like it's around four feet. So we have a new first place. The 149 pumpkin has taken first place. We have some mammoth throws already going on this morning. These are because I'm getting better and I strive for excellence. I strive to do the best I can and I'm in competition with myself that's what I do I just try to be better than I was yesterday or the day before or whatever it is so I'm happy to tell you that I'm throwing pretty far here we go and this is with my work shoes on and my jacket so forth and so on here we go a pro a boss remember this was thrown 1108 feet uh, a pro boss was so don't sell the boss short these pro bosses can go like hell pro boss oh that might still go a 
grades, albeit low. It's going to skip and it could not develop a second flight. So it did not skip. So unfortunately, that's that. Threw it too low. And we've got a very deep strike. It's going to take an embankment to go into first place today because that, uh, whatever that disc was that I threw there, the 149 or whatever it was, that disc is deep. Okay, we got a 149 here, and this is a, uh, sorry folks, I'm trying to clean this off. We don't need any muck on this. This is a 149 champion. I believe that this is a, sh a shrike. We'll find out. Uh, I'm not going to waste time. Here we go. 149, I believe this is a shrike. Here we go. Champion flash. Ah, that's another pretty good throw. I've lost sight of it. It has come down and it's fairly deep. Uh, it's going to be a third place candidate for sure. So we'll see how it goes. Now we've got this dimension, 14.5 speed, five glide, zero turn, and three fade. Now, a lot of people don't know what that means. If you look at this disc, you'll see that it's very streamlined. Underneath, there's no real thick lip. All of your approach discs and, uh, you know, the slower fairway discs like a six speed or a seven speed or a four speed, they'll all have these really uh, noticeable lips here. And um, it just makes it that they can't really go real, real fast. That's why this is a very streamlined disc. And it's beyond the 14, it's a 14.5 dimension by MVP uh, Disc Sports. Now, unfortunately for this, <coughs> you have to be very good at throwing Anheusers, which means coming up and over like that. And I am not good at it. <coughs> Even if you do, the disc is definitely gonna go to the left. So I don't know what they're talking about with this zero turn. I don't know what they're talking about. The disc, in my opinion, is highly, highly overstable, understable, whatever it is. Minus four is what it should be. Here we go. I got one of these jokers about 350 feet or 353 yesterday, and it was the first time I ever got into one of these. So let's see if I can't get into this one too. Here we go. Dimension, MVP disc, 172. Okay, you see it going to the left, and uh, it is just skittled out to where you can see it, I think. I can see it from up here. You may not be able to see it there. And that's how hard it is to throw that disc. And you know, don't forget, it's heavier, too. Okay, we got another uh, Pro Boss. Let's see if we can't find the embankment here. Here we go, Pro Boss, 150. Okay, that's a pretty good throw. It, I couldn't get it to turn over, but it is out there, and that one you can definitely see. And it looks like it's a fourth place or fifth place disc right now. Okay. We have a uh, 155 is what this is. It's a pro turn 155. Here we go. Uh, let's see if we can rock. And let's see if we can roll. Here we go. 155 pro turn. Ah, uh, not bad. It's got a good flight pattern. I wish I would have put it to the right more. And it did not clear the shadow of the hill. Um, I couldn't get it to go to the right far enough. Okay. Now we've got this mystere. I have already in a halo version it was a free disc friday i don't care for it you may um another one that wants to just bolt to the left all the time it's heavy it's a 168 the only 168s i'm throwing well are katanas um and that's about it here we go another disc that'll break heavily to the left let's see if we can't punch this through the 300 foot mark here we go Missed here, 170, 168. Ah! Oh, you bastard. It hit the tree. Damn it, that had a pretty good flight, too. That was a good throw. That's too bad. Damn it. 
I should have lined up. I should have went to the left a little bit more, but I'm uh, wearing out the thing. Not that these people are making circles and everything over here. So uh, that's even worse. Uh, hang on, folks. Um, yeah, I have to make sure that this is still recording, and it is. Uh, here we go. I'm going to put it to the right a little bit because I think we're going to be able to get these discs on the embankment today. 150. Innova Starfire. Here we go. Uh, right into the fucking tree again. Damn it! Another good throw, too. Damn, I'm going to... I want to do it for the camera, but I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to have to move it over here because... I just can't F with that tree anymore. See, when you throw, it'll come back to the left anyway. So we'll have to put it like this. There we go. And uh, bring the camera up a little bit. That's probably in order. There we go. All right. Let's try that one again. Here we go. Uh, Starfire again. This is the 150 in green. Let's see if we can't get some big numbers with this. Here we go. Starfire 150. In green. Okay, it's a pretty good throw, but yeah, the wind is fucking with it. Still a good throw. And it's still out there pretty good. That thing is out there. Looks like it's 350. It looks like it's about 350 feet. So I don't know if you could see it. Maybe it's too angled that way, but we'll try it now again. That went down Main Street. It was a great throw. We have another star fire. Here we go. <coughs> 150, star fire. Okay, that one was way, way off to the right. Still going a pretty good ways though. Oh, folks. Oh my goodness. Is it still recording? Well, the camera just blew over. Looks like it's still recording. Now the wind is starting to pick up, as you can see, and I'm going to do the best I can here. Um, that should stay up. I'm going to try to put a rock on here or something and uh, keep it up. Okay, I've got uh, something to put it on here so we won't have that problem again. All right, here we go. This time a 147 race. Here we go, roller time. Here we go. Okay, that's not a roller, that's just a fair throw. It's almost good. And yes, it's rolling into a good throw. It's out there about 280 feet. Okay, folks. Uh, this is a, this is called Murderer's Row, just like in baseball, the old Toronto Blue Jays, uh, they used to have these batters that would come up and each one was a powerful home run hitter and the pitchers didn't like facing them. And these are the discs that are the deepest threats. Um, this is a 168 uh, Katana Pro and it is gummy and it goes far. All other discs fear it. Here we go. Bro. That's a very good throw. And that can do something. It's steep. And it is... Oh my goodness, I thought it might get on the embankment. It looks like it's around... Within five feet of the embankment. That may be the leader. It's too close. We won't know until we check it. The wind is helping this morning for whatever the reason. It's around five or six miles an hour right now. Uh, gusts aren't bad. Okay, now, well, the gusts are now moving at around 10. So it just depends on what the wind does to these discs. We have a little light, misty rain, too. A little light, light spinning. That's what I said yesterday, and I got soaked to the bone. Okay, 155 Mamba. Here we go. Not a bad throw. 
Uh, but not a good throw. It's okay, bro. It's out there about 265. We've got two very powerful discs here. We've got a Day of Dallas 162, and we have a Shrike 163. And I ordered another Pro Shrike. I, I ordered another one in this uh, category. I requested a 160 or 161. Here we go. Day of Dallas. 162. Okay, that's a pretty good throw. My goodness, if the wind doesn't fuck it up, but it is fucking it up. It's still out there, and it's an excellent throw. It's uh, not going to be in the top three, but it's an excellent throw nonetheless. It's uh, probably around 345 feet, 350 feet. It's out there. Uh, 163 Shrike. Here we go. Just for the record, as far as I know, the Shrike has never seen the embankment. But it's been very close many, many times. You know it's coming. Here we go. 163 Shrike. Oh, that's a very good throw, my goodness. But the wind is pummeling it. It just fucking destroyed it. My God, that was a beautiful throw. I, that was that had every oh, the right stuff. My God, and the wind just tore it apart. Okay, here we go. 150 Starfire. Let's see what this little guy can do. Remember, it's only a 10-4. It's only 10 speed four glide. Let's go. Very good throw. I got a lot into it. And it's out there, it's feeling along, and it's fairly deep. It's around 35 to 38 feet from the embankment, my guess. Maybe 40, no matter, it's a 350 foot throw. Okay, now we have Her Majesty. This is a 13 speed, five glide, minus two for the turn, and two fade. Here we go. Not a stellar throw, but not bad. Okay. We got a Starfire. Another 150. I have seven of these now. And I'll order three more so we have ten. And we'll be doing another Starfire showdown. Maybe in a couple of weeks. Here we go. 150. Starfire. Green. Um, I fucked up my whole delivery there, and it's still out there, rolling in front by about two meters of that orange disc, so it's not a pushover. Here's a strike. Let's see if we can't get something going with this. 147. Here we go. Okay, that could roll. It's coming down two pancakes, and it's no second flight either, so only a 245 foot throw. Okay, Starfire time again in blue. Here we go. Starfire, 150. Oh, it's going, but it's not going to do anything. It's landing on the street. Uh, not a good throw. It's about a 210 foot effort, way off to the right. 163 Shrike. Here we go. Ah! I couldn't get it to turn over. It's going to be a fair throw. And it's out there and speedling a little bit to about 315 feet, I would say. 320 if I'm lucky. Okay, we got about 15 discs left. We've got a 149, this is a 149 uh, Champion Shrike. Champion Shrike, 149. Shrikes have not been on the embankment yet that I'm aware of. They might have, but I'm not sure. Here we go, 149 Shrike, Champion Pot, go. Oh, too bad I didn't get that up. All right, no skip, so 
but died at about 190 feet. Too bad. We got this D model from Prodigy, this 154 mistake, because it just wants to go left very seriously. Another 13602 that doesn't behave like the numbers as far as I'm concerned. Prodigy 154, here we go. Big arc. And it's rolled just in front of that orange disc out there. Not a bad throw, actually. It's easily 300 feet. So, congrats to the uh, the D model there on a an okay throw. It's a big arc, but it's all right. This disc did very well yesterday. It's my little 145 uh, Corvette. It goes like hell if you get the hyzer right it goes like hell wants to turn all the time but it goes like hell here we go 145 corvette oh that's a good throw if the wind doesn't bump I think it's right at 350. Okay, that brings up the charger. For those of you who watch my channel, the 162 charger is available in good condition. I've had it a long time, since around June or July. And um, this is the 148, but its big brother, the 162, has already been to the promised land, which is that embankment. So it is retired with around a 395 foot, uh, Toss. Here we go. Charger. 148. Ah, too high, big arc. And um, yeah. 280-ish, 285-ish. Okay, we've got the Halo Thunderbird. It's a beautiful disc that I don't throw well. It's a 168. The furthest I've ever thrown this, I think, is around 310 feet and not often. It's another one that wants to arc to the left. Uh, for those of you who are good at throwing Anheuser, here's your Huckleberry right here. It's a beautiful disc, too. I don't throw it well. 168. Oh, yeah. Oh, we picked it up. And it's good. It came back a little bit. Okay. A lot of you don't know this disc. It is illegal in sanctioned play for professional disc golf. Of course, it's not illegal here because uh, I don't care. It is a weapon of maximum distance. It's made by Doomsday Discs. I also have their Pestilence. I have two of them. I forgot the numbers. 166 and a 164. I think I got two of them. And I have a lot of trouble with them, but I haven't thrown one in around five months. It's been that long. So I've gotten better since that time. It's more than four months since I've thrown one. Here we go. Doomsday Discs. Weapon of maximum distance. This son of a bitch is 188 grams. That's why it's illegal. It's got a huge rim. Here we go. Never been able to throw it over 325, 330 feet. My best throw I've ever made with that. The killer with that is that if it goes up, it just it's just like a pig. It just wallows around and comes back. I threw that very low. I think it's at 350, though. We will see shortly, because I'm down to less than 10 discs now. Here we go. Uh, this is the 158 uh, court, uh, Katana. I'm sorry, this is a day of Dallas. 158. 
I do not throw it. Well, whatever the reason, I throw a 162 much better. Dead down. Okay, good throw, a little high. Couldn't get it to turn over. And it is still out there pretty good and rolling along. And it looks like it's right in front of a blue disc there, which is deep. It looks like 350 belt. And it might be so close, they may be touching each other. That's how close it was. Okay, tantrum. This disc, I threw it 353 feet yesterday. 353. I got into it finally. Got to throw this disc low, and you got to kind of overhand it. Uh, it'll pull to the left severely anyway. Here we go. I hope I can really do this justice. It's not a bad disc. It's just really hard to throw if you're not a strong overhand thrower going to the right. Here we go. 172 grams. Tantrum. Okay, you can see I sucked it up and it's got two ties. Still on a second flight, still rolling, still rolling. And it's okay. It's around 285 feet, I would guess. 280. 280 to 285. Okay, we got another Starfire, and we're down now to about five discs. Last five, folks. 150 in of a Starfire. Here we go. That's a very good throw. That's a powerful throw. It's going deep, too. It is going past one, and it is two. Oh, folks, that is very, very seriously going to challenge my deepest throw I have ever made with a Starfire, indeed, which is this one right here, which I threw on February 1st, making 370 feet, which is retired now, waiting for one of you to claim it. Oh, no, no I'm sorry, this is the wrong one. This is a 148 uh, Corvette. It's this one right here. Uh, this is the Starfire. And I threw this 370 feet. That may be very, very close. We may have to measure. Okay. We've got the dimension by MVP uh, Disc Sports. It's a 14.5. It's a 14.5 speed. You can see how thin the disc is. It's also hard to see if it's far away because you can't see the orange on top. You can only see this rim, which is black. It hides beautifully in the weeds and everything else. Uh, note to MVP, put a different color on these, okay? You stupid idiots. What the hell's wrong with you? People get their discs lost all the time. Sometimes it's obscured and it's the only thing you can see is the rim. You stupid idiots. I mean, seriously, folks, how smart do you have to be? They make these molds in, in uh, two colors. You know, they're molded from two. Come on, folks. You have to be a genius for this. 14.5, five glide, zero turn, three fade. Here we go. Ah! Nope. Nope. And it's rolling. And it's going to vary. Uh, very, it's just gonna sit and die. Boy, that rolled with no heart. Just like a half a mile an hour. Um, I can't throw that disc well. I am the first to admit it. And uh, doesn't behave like any other disc that Innova makes. Uh, none, as far as I can tell. Vulcan, maybe. And the Vulcan, I take the Vulcan over that one. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is a Pro 149. Uh, this is a turn. 149 pro turn. Let's see if we can't get this the hell out of here. Here we go. Turn, 149 pro. Oh, that's a pretty good throw if it stays up. It's not going to get a second flight and it dies. A 260 foot depth. Too bad. We now have another Starfire. It's a 150. Here we go. Starfire, 150. out there at around 315 feet maybe 318 and we have 
two discs left now. And these are the last two. And we are going to go and check things out. This is a soon to be retired from being beaten in too much Katana 165. It may have been defective out of the factory. I do not throw it well. It's stiff as a board. Do not buy the Katanas unless you get the Pro Series. That's my guess. 165 has been virtually useless. Here we go. 165 Katana. Okay, now, oh, it's going. Just as I say, it's bad, and I get a good flight off of it. Now, let's see. Oh, it's almost on the embankment. I think it rolled off the embankment. I think it rolled off. So, again, a first place contender. Well, I think that's going to take first place because that bounced off the embankment, as far as I can tell. Tang uh, Mayhem, 13, uh, 5 minus 1.5 for the turn, 2 fade. I did throw this disc fairly well, around uh, 320 feet, as I recall, one time. Here we go, it is the last disc. Okay, Mayhem. Yeah! Okay, it's gonna come back to the left. And it is, oh, it's half hard to be rolling. It's still fairly deep. So, let's go out and let's have a look at these efforts. Okay, folks, we're heading out. Uh, sorry, it was a pause that refreshes that men have to do. So, um, let's uh, get to it now. I can kind of be more comfortable. All right, we're at 42 minutes here, but worth it. We have some very deep throws here. And uh, we have a couple that errantly went off to the left. Uh, no big deal. But uh, not good throws. But you can see that yellow 165 Katana absolutely bounced off the embankment. And uh, it bounced off of it. So that's probably going to be the winner. It's very close to that orange one over there too. Uh, in distance. And there, it looks like there's another yellow disc near it too. So we've got some very deep strikes on this throw in session. Let's go and take a look. And then I shall bid you adieu. Don't forget to tune in. Um, if you are a disc uh, golf addict, we will help you recover here by getting you away from uh, disc golf and merely throwing for distance. Now, folks, I am tempted to give this an embankment job because I know for a fact that it punched right into that wall right there. It punched into it. But... Uh, since I am going to go by the book, it won't be an embankment job, but it absolutely bounced off there. You can see the, the, uh, stiff nose there of the hill and it just did not take a good, uh, roll. And, uh, it's still going to be the champion. I think this one looks like it's very deep and it is, it's right here and, uh, indeed not an embankment, but it hit the bankment right there. And bounce back. Too bad. Had I cut that with the weed eater, I might have been able to. This might have been, and it already needs to be cut. But they told me they don't want me cutting the yard here anymore. So if I do it, I have to do it very quietly at uh, six o'clock in the morning. And uh, this is a big area. I've done it already here, but not completely. I did some. This is a big area. All right. So we have nothing else on the embankment, nothing else going to the far left of my throwing. Over there to the left, because that's not, not how my throws go. These are just uh, sea grape leaves, is what those look like. And the furthest effort, that's not a disc there, that's just a leaf. The furthest effort here is going to be this blue 155 uh, turn, it looks like. And also, again, a very noble throw by this 145 little Corvette. The Corvette has definitely beat the pole it's definitely beat it by about oh maybe 15 feet and this one's beaten it by uh, 18 feet 17 feet so let's look for the 350 yard feet the 350 foot mark and we'll see how close those are and we've got several discs that are in front of this and they're going to get honorable mention so let's take a look the 350 foot mark is right here 
this is 350 right here so this right here this uh starfire has made it 351 feet and what is this one? Oh, this is the weapon of maximum distance a noble noble uh 360 foot throw if not 361 so the weapon of maximum distance finally coming to life now my only question is did that starfire beat my last throwing distance mark and i guess it just missed it because here it is right here and i thought this was further than what it was uh, yes, this is a cream-colored uh, Starfire and walking it across here uh, Oh, no, here's another Starfire also Okay, yeah, that's the one I just showed you 350 that one's around 356 So 356 over here for this Starfire. It is 14 feet short of the record um, Dead Dallas all uh, this disc all coming in all of these coming in with honorable mention we've got another one here this is a starfire and uh it has come in also uh beyond the, the post over there as you can see and it's beyond 350 is it not uh i i forgot where that 350 mark is i have to make more marks here they were getting really mad at me for putting a flag out here just a little flag for it to show what the window's going and I left it out here one night and oh my god it makes all that extra work for them yada 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 it's the old garbage here at this place so I have to be very careful uh, I'll mark more I've got a wheel now so I can measure uh, but this looks like a 352 foot throw this is 356 again we'll look at these discs forward I, I hope I can make the embankment one day with that starfire it's such a great little disc okay the tantrum is it a tantrum it is a mayhem i think this is the last disc i threw uh it has punched through the 350 foot mark i do believe let's go take a look has it punched through there's the mark right there right there and it is beyond it by about two feet so the mayhem on a giant arc, I believe, uh, has punched through the 350 foot mark. Now we'll go over here and take a look and see what went to the right. The 163 Shrike uh, did not fare well. Uh, that's not the best effort to the right. The best effort to the right side of my throwing is going to be this Starfire. And it is honorable mention because it got past this post, but it is just short of 350 feet. So honorable mention, but nothing staggering here. I don't see anything else that penetrated here to the right. <coughs> nothing going on. So let's get the official order. And I feel bad because the 165 Corvette, which has suffered, it has not been thrown well. Uh, it, it, I thought it was a defective disc. It has made the embankment and bounced back. I saw it with my own seven eyes. Let's have a look here. It looks like it's going to be these three discs. Let's have a look. It's going to be very close on third place. All right. The winner, 165 regular $6 uh, Katana in a 165. And second place is going to be that orange disc over there. Uh, I, I have to take a look and make sure of that and double check it. It is definitely gonna be second place. I don't know what this is. It's a pumpkin, it's a 149 pumpkin. 149 pumpkin turn. It is second place. It's not debatable. It's ahead by about uh, two feet from the third spot, which is going to be that yellow disc. And fourth place, will be this let me see hold on uh first second third fourth here so let's see what the the third place disc is uh it's, it's good i threw some long strikes today of course the wind is going out again it doesn't always help you that's the thing that's weird when you tell people it doesn't always help you okay so 
Third place is what is this? It's uh, it's um, uh, it's Big Brother. It's it's Bigger Brother. Yes, it is. It's the 168 Katana. So the winner was a 165 Katana. Second place was that orange uh, 149 Turn Pumpkin. Third place was this 168 uh, Katana. And fourth place was that Pro Boss 150. Uh, honorable mentions to all these discs beating that post over there, which is well in excess of 300 feet. So we had some good throws today. Um, we have another one here. That's the one that 352 foot jump. And congratulations to uh, Doomsday Discs with an honorable performance of a very low straight line drive throw that worked its way out to about a 362 foot toss. Uh, there's the 350 marker. And walking this over, it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about twelve feet. So 361 to 362 feet on this noble weapon of mass maximum distance. And another honorable mention in particular to this little guy, the 145 uh, Corvette which I just can't say enough about. That little disc can really get the job done. What a tool that is to have in your bag. I'm telling you folks, that thing, uh, it's a little bit unpredictable, but boy, is it a nice little disc to have. Folks, take care. Thank you for being with me. I only have time for one set of throws today, and I'm very happy with the spread. Except for that thing getting bounced off the embankment. I was not happy about that. Uh, but happy for the 165 because I was getting ready to get rid of it. Take care, folks. And uh, join the Mickey Mouse Club here if you wish. Subscribe and be nobody. And I'll talk to you later with the news. Bye.